DJ Sarah Young right now, the big reunion with the crazy cool individuals that you are, Mickey Slim and Majestic. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about crazy cool. <laughs> Pretty hot, that's why I got You're a t-shirt. You're crazy and I'm cool. All right, cool. So we got crazy and cool. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, we're good. We're ready to like, you know, take the center stage and do what we do, innit, really? Like, you know? I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna give it back after we've taken it. Uh, I don't know. We should allow it really because Chase and Status are going to be on yeah, afterwards. Chase so we should should give them the stage back. No, no, you know what? They, you know, respect where respects you. They do their thing. We do our thing and we're going to lie. Chase and Status are going to murder the dance. We're on before them. Me and Mickey Slim going to warm it up nicely. So the Chase and Status lads are just going to go and take it, thing, yeah. take it to the next heights. Because yeah. I ain't a drum and bass DJ, like, but we. We're like versatile. Like, I don't like to put in a box what, what I do now. Like, I was known as an electro DJ. We linked up about a year and a half ago and started doing different things. And I'm into all different music. Nowadays, you can't just be put in a box and say, that's what you do. Do you know what I mean? So tonight, we're going to do a bit of trap, a bit of dubstep, a bit of electro. Did I hear trap? Yeah, wow, I love that new genre. Uh, I, I hate the fact that it's a genre. I'm gonna, I had to name it so you knew what I was talking about. But to me, it's just beats, isn't it? You know, like different, yeah. different shit. Sounds like instrumentals from America, I didn't it really, with more, with more sub. Hip hop dubstep. Hip hop dubstep, Hip hop dubstep. Yeah. dubstep. To me, like now, the kids are just into music. Do you, know, do you know what it is? The difference is when we were kids buying vinyls, you was either a jungle head, garage head, a grunger, or whatever you was, because that's all you could do. But now there's YouTube and iPhones, shuffle. One minute they're listening to trap, the next minute they might even be listening to Robbie Williams' Candy, some of them. That's <laughs> true. No, they, some Lord of them. help us all if that is the case, <laughs> for sure. Moving on from Robbie Williams, definitely. You guys are definitely not new at the big festival. Big festival, can I just do that again? Yeah, please do. Moving on from... <laughs> Moving on from Robbie Williams, definitely you guys are not newbies here. Definitely not. You've played here before, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, I love the big reunion, man. It's like, you know, it's a chance to catch up with guys that you work with over the over the season. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people who work hard who've probably got the chance, even though they're working hard here as well, to be fair. But like, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just a chance to like catch up with everyone from the summer and just, you know, recap on the on the crazy summer that we've had really, you know. Yeah, it's just a nice sort of like the final extension to summer and especially where it's placed in the year, it's almost like it's almost like our New Year's Eve together. Yeah, and yeah. you know, and there's like it's like Mickey was saying, especially the reps and that that we see in resort, because me and Mickey are, do a lot of the full moon parties. Shout it's it's them, yeah, shout out to the full moon crew. It's nice to to see them all again, especially the reps and that, because we have a good relationship with all the reps and I don't think enough enough people look towards reps with a you know high regard, but us, us DJs, MCs, artists, no, or whatever, you know what? we love them. Every, it's, a team. Every, it's a team. It's a teamwork thing. Like, it wouldn't work. Us turning up, if they didn't do the work before, and there wouldn't be anyone there. So, like, it's all good. We can come and have a great time and have a party and have a drink and have a, you know, a dance, or whatever. But, like, without the guys that, you know, like, put the effort in day to day, then there wouldn't really be. It's definitely got a family atmosphere yeah. backstage here. Definitely also the crowd are crazy at the moment. So, I've got a specific question for you. Yeah. What exactly is the Roughneck Bass? Do you know what? I'll be completely honest with you. Um, about four or five years ago, I'd done a sample pack because someone said to me, do you want to earn a couple of grand? And I was like, yeah, who wouldn't? <laughs> and this is like back in the day, you know, and I was like struggling, running my own studio. So I thought, yeah, I'll do it. And I was known for doing a lot of adverts, different voices, etc. And because I've got such a deep tone in my voice, I can really go like, yo, bad man, and a rude boy, and a ting there. And like, I can get away with sounding like a ragga sort of artist. A ragamuffin. A ragamuffin, yeah. So I did a sample pack four or five years ago and I thought I could just reel off a load of different voices. There's about five different voices in the pack. There's one like, there's another one that's used like loads in the house and that is like two and I was tripping. It's like loads of mad stuff. And then the Roughneck Bass thing was just sort of, I named the file Emperor Magic and I've done loads of different ones. And so yeah, Skrillex ended up picking up. The first time I ever heard my voice on um, a Skrillex record was the cinema remix for Benny Bonazzi. And I heard this, get up, get down, and that sound like high pitch. I went, let me pitch that down. Yeah. That's me. And then it went, drop the bass. I was like, that's me again. And then Roughneck Bass come out. And it's just sort of escalated yeah, from Damian there. Damien Marley thing as well, man. Yeah, the like, Damien Marley thing. I'm on a track with Damien Marley. It's amazing. Yeah. Rule boy be us. Mush up the players. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I've then sort of, I've got to know Skrillex as well. And, you know, we actually recorded a track together. And hopefully we'll see the light of day next year. So that's a good thing. 
Well, look, whatever genres you're playing tonight, I'm looking forward to your set a lot. We are at the Big Reunion. It's your girl, DJ Sarah Young, with these two crazy guys. Majestic Big Reunion. Potato!